Hello guys, the thing which I am going to show you is surely going to blow your mind. Just watch this. This image is a deep fake and the audio is also deep fake, both generated by AI. This new model by Microsoft receives one audio and one image and then creates a deep fake video with the help of it. Let me play it and then you can see it by yourself. So, you know, sometimes nothing happens and sometimes everything happens all at once and you just got to deal with it. And it's also just strange to both be extremely worried about different things and have your anxiety levels like peak to the highest they've ever been. And then also be extremely happy and great. Microsoft Research Asia has come up with this new model which is called as Vasa 1. This is an audio driven talking face generation model that stands out for its efficient generation of realistic lip synchronization, vivid facial expressions and naturalistic head movements from a single image and audio input. It significantly outperforms existing methods and also various other tools in delivering video quality and performance efficiency demonstrating promising visual affective skills in the generated face videos as you just saw. The technical corner store is an, an innovative holistic facial dynamics and head movement generation model that works in an expressive and disentangled face latent space. The advancements made by Vasa 1 have the potential to reshape human-human and human-AI interactions across various domains including communication, education and healthcare. The integration of control-level conditioning signals further enhances the model's adaptability for personalized user experience. Now, there are various examples and stuff which is scattered throughout this project. So let me play out some of the more stuff and then we'll go further. So let me play out a few of these. So, you know, sometimes nothing happens. So we just saw this one. Have you ever had, maybe you're in that place right now where you want to turn your life around and you know somewhere deep in your... Now look at the eye movement, the facial expression, the lip synchronization. And remember, these are not the real people. These all images, all audios have been generated by AI. And the, both audio and images were generated separately. And this model combined them and created this deep fake video. How scary and how exciting that is. Now let me play this male one. The first thing we need to look at is the letter H, so the sound at the beginning. It depends what country you're from, but many native languages have a problem with um, putting too much. In this one, you can still identify that there is some um, AI going on because it doesn't look that real. I mean, almost real, but not that real. But I believe that the first two ones look more real. For example, let's play out this one. If you plan to go for a run and you don't have enough time to do a full run, do part of a run. If you very, very close, very close. It surprises me still. I ran it on someone just last night. Uh, it was fascinating. You know, she had complained of she had complained of shoulder like pain in her arm. It was excruciating. So I said, OK, let's run this. Oh my God, can you imagine? And then let's play this one. These principles will not only make your user's journey more pleasant, they'll contribute to better business metrics as well. Users hate being interrupted and they hate getting broken experiences. Um, but you can imagine I have a lot of questions. So um, I'd love to begin with you firstly, just because I, I read that you started out and- You see that all the audio is matching the lip synchronization Extremely well, extremely. You can't really tell the difference here. And these are the shorter examples which are hard. Let's check this out where we are showing the controllability of a generation. I would say that we as readers are not meant to look at him in any other way but with disdain, especially in how he treats her, his daughter, okay? But of course, he is able to clearly see through Morris and he. Can you believe that? So the main eye gaze direction and head distance 
I mean, it is synchronizing perfectly well with different expressions similar to this. Um, but you can imagine I have a lot of questions. So um, I'd love to begin with you firstly, just because I, I read. And then there are a lot of examples which I will leave you to explore. And then, for example, this one where you can also handle photo. Yo, I'm a paparazzi. I don't play no Yahtzee. I go pop pop. See that? Then let's try this one. Uh, oh, good is that? You never tell me that you Amazing. And then of course you can also check out the But it's really thing. something that is like, you know, practice makes it perfect. Mm -hmm. Like anything you do in life. So it's the same for meditation. There you go. And then you can just check it out. It will be, it will show you the disentangle appearance, 3D head pose, and there are a lot of other examples which you can play out. Now, I would also dis discuss the risk and other stuff, but I think you can already tell that this is going to be huge. This is going to really rattle it out. Anyway, let's have a quick look at some of the technicalities of this stuff. Now, if you look at this diagram, what is happening actually in this model is that we are giving it, it a single portrait image, a speech audio clip, and optionally a set of other control signals. And this approach produces a high quality lifelike talking face video of 512 by 512 resolution at up to 40 FPS. The method is generic and robust, and the generated talking faces can faithfully mimic human facial expressions and head movements reaching a high level of realism and liveliness. Also, as I said earlier, all the all these images um, in this video, in this paper are virtual, non-existent identities generated by AI. Okay, now let's look at this figure. We also saw a video of it. Now in this one, what is happening here is that, um, and on the left hand side, first row is a gaze control. Second row is a distance control and the third one is a motion control. So generated talking faces under different control signals you can um, check out here. The top row results under different main case direction condition, forward facing, leftward, rightward, upward respectively. In the middle row we have different head distances from far to near. And then bottom row shows the results under different emotion offset which are neutral, happy, angry, surprised and and so on. If you look at this diagram, this is again uh, shows you this entanglement between identity and motion. And in these examples, the same generated head and facial motion sequences are applied onto three different face images, as you can see. And then look at this example. In this one, there is a disentanglement between head pose and facial dynamics. So if you look from top to bottom, the raw generated sequence applying generated poses with a fixed initial facial dynamics and applying generated facial dynamics with fixed initial head pose and also the predefined spinning poses respectively. Now coming back to uh, what we were discussing earlier, I believe that there are a lot of um, social impact you know, pending due to this and similar models and there will be more, I'm more than sure. And then we ha really need to come up with some regulation and responsible AI here. Because this research focuses on generating audio driven visual effective skills for virtual AI avatars aiming for positive applications, of course. But and it is certainly not intended to create content that is used to mislead or deceive. But like other related content generation techniques, oh it could still potentially be misused for impersonating humans. And that needs to be done now because time is running out and AI is advancing at a breakneck pace. So I think that uh, we should all strive to make sure that no misleading or harmful content is created from the real person. And we should really also work in applying these techniques for advancing forgery detection because um, these videos which are generating this stuff should contain some identifiable artifact and also that um, but I think there are ways to deceive that too so if you're running it privately and locally 
I don't think so that the weights of these models and checkpoints are still out but as soon as they are out and if uh, I would have the resources I will create an installation video and we can also produce them in the real time so that's it guys I think totally mind-blowing let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you already are subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching